One of the most widely used practices for generating a small executable is to modularize the project into several Xs, DLLs, BPLs, and keep separate auxiliary text, image, or sound files. This practice is helpful for decreasing file traffic during system updates by performing the update only on those files that have actually changed. However, if it is necessary to keep a single file for the whole system, Delphi offers this possibility through its IDE. In this video, we will have a look at how to insert external files inside the executable and access them later when it is necessary. Although this feature has existed since Delphi version 3, the way to incorporate external files into the executable has been significantly improved since version 2009. Now you can use a resource manager that can be accessed via the menu project, resources and images. To add the items, we must click on add, select the item in the directory where it is and click on open. Once files are added, they appear in Delphi's project manager, where you can select them and change their properties in the object inspector. Let's see how to use the text file. Files that do not fit into the predefined standards for resources, bitmaps, icons, and font files, such as text files, are encapsulated as a binary type called RC data. To access them, it is necessary to use a class called T Resource Stream, which allows you to load the file into any component that has a property of the T strings type using a single code line. For example, we can easily load the contents of the file and display them in a list box with this command. When you are instantiating the tResourceStream class while calling the load from stream method of the tStrings class, it is necessary to use at least three parameters. A pointer variable called hInstance, the alias, that references the resource, and a constant that represents the data type in which the resource is stored in the executable. Image files can be reused in two ways, depending on their type. If they are icon images, .bmp files, are cursors, there is the load from resource name method, which allows you to load them with just one code line. The second method is used for dealing with PNG or JPEG images. In such cases, it is necessary to use classes that properly handle the resource. Files of the types other than those that we have considered so far are also compiled as RC data, but to use them you have to extract them using the combination of classes T resource stream and T file stream, as shown below. In this example, we used an MP3 file, but the same code can work for other types as well, such as executables or DLLs. <laughs> Although resources can vary useful for transporting files in the executable itself and reusing them within the system, you should be careful with them. Since there is no effective file compression, its size usually increases more than expected. 